So season one is well underway now. It's been live for around two weeks and obviously with plenty of new content as well as the content that we already had before season one, the focus generally tends to be on the best or most exciting weapons and items in the game. But that means there is a lot of stuff out there that is kind of being slept on because no one really focuses on it. So today I wanted to cover what I think are some of the most underused and underrated items so far in season one of X Defiant. Now, the first one might be a little bit of a hot take because I don't know, if it's just different in different locations and play bases in the world but one weapon that i feel is actually really underused is actually the vector now i'm not going to say no one ever runs it but considering it is probably one of the best weapons in the entire game i honestly feel like i only see people use this once in a blue moon compared to a lot of other weapons in this game that feel like i'm dying to them constantly when it comes to stuff like the acr the mp7 and probably the ak-47 as well so again i don't know if that's a hot take i don't know if where you play everyone's running around using the vector i'm not too sure but i just feel like i very rarely see this and whenever i use this thing it is an absolute beast and i'm kind of confused why more and more people don't use it it obviously does have its drawbacks it pretty much has no range on it whatsoever and for me the biggest drawback is that it obviously runs out of ammo very very quickly which is probably the main reason i don't use it over weapons like the mp7 and the p90 but with those drawbacks there are some huge pros in the fact that it is probably the single best up close weapon in the entire game I honestly think it beats the MP7 nine times out of 10. Same goes for the P90 and it probably beats shotguns up close as well, which is pretty insane to think about. So do not sleep on the Vector. I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't, but like I said, I feel like I don't see it that often, which is kind of shocking considering how good this weapon actually is. Now, next up, we have one that I've been preaching about pretty much since the preseason and hell, even a little bit before that too. And this is the M249. Now, I honestly think this is one of the best weapons in the entire game. And just like, I said for the vector i realistically do not see people using this i could not tell you the last time i actually died to an m249 and it is a little bit baffling to me that more people aren't using it as far as i know my best kill streak in x defiant so far is a 21 kill streak that actually came with the m249 now that doesn't just guarantee that it's a good weapon. Obviously, you could fluke that with any weapon in the game. But every single time I use this weapon, I tend to go so damn good compared to pretty much all of the other weapons in the game. And that's coming from someone who's actually really not an LMG guy. I tend to really stay away from LMGs in most shooters that I play. I'm a very aggressive player. I don't like the slow mobility that it gives you. But in Exafiant, that doesn't really feel like it's the case. To me, in this game, the LMGs actually just feel like assault rifles with 100 rounds rather than and in most shooters, they do feel very sluggish and slow. And I just don't get that feeling at all when it comes to the LMGs in this game. The same could be said for the M60. I actually nearly put that on this list as well. And although I haven't used the RPK all that much, even that feels pretty damn good too. So if you guys like assault rifles, but you often find yourself running out of ammo, I could not recommend the M249 enough. This thing is an absolute beast. And like I said, I'm shocked that more and more people don't use this considering just how good it is. Now, just quickly for those interested in making the weapon grind a little bit easier in X Defiant. MitchCactus.com has you covered as they will actually grind weapon levels, attachments, and skins for you while you're out at work or at school. They have well over 10,000 verified Trustpilot reviews. All of their packages are completely safe and legitimate. They also have 24-7 customer support and even a 100% money back guarantee. Head on over to MitchCactus.com using the link in the description and use code SAMI for 5% off for a limited time only. Now, next on the list, we have what I think is actually one of the single best weapons in the game and even a lot of pro players out there and stuff have this rated as essentially one of if not the best weapon in the game this being the m16 i always see this thing up there on the top of lists when people do like tier lists and rankings for the best weapons in the game even on the xd loadout website it is actually in the meta tier of weapons as well and yet I could not tell you the last time I died to the M16 in an actual match, which again, could be similar to what I said about the Vector, where maybe in other locations and regions around the world, this thing is the most used weapon, and this is not for me. I'm not too sure, but I feel like I never, ever see this in game, and this thing is an absolute beast, specifically when it comes to those longer range maps, and hell, even at mid-range too. Now, I know burst rifles aren't generally a fan favorite when it comes to arcade shooters. Generally speaking, burst rifles just don't do as well as fully automatic 
ranked weapons because most of the gunfights you're in are going to be more close quarters than not. But trust me, if you guys haven't used the M16, this thing is an absolute beast. And again, it feels kind of weird putting this in an underrated item video when realistically, I feel like this should actually be one of the most used weapons in X Defiant overall. So don't sleep on the M16. This thing is an absolute beast. And I'm sure any of you guys who do consistently use it will surely agree with that. Now, next up, we have a bit of a random one, and this is the sticky grenades, which I'm going to be honest, I personally don't use all that often myself. So it's a little bit ironic me telling you guys to use them when most of the time I'm running the EMP myself. But these things are absolutely clutch. And if you guys don't enjoy using EMPs, I could not recommend the sticky grenades enough. Now, not only do they deal really solid damage but they do also have the key bonuses of being able to take out riot shields which is something that i find super useful when it comes to the sticky grenades there is nothing more satisfying than putting these on a phantom as they're charging you down with the shield and it gives you a guaranteed kill pretty much that is definitely very very satisfying and on top of that like i said they also just have really good damage throwing these on objectives and stuff you're almost guaranteed to get kills with them and realistically for me alongside the emp this is pretty much the only other device that i'll use if i'm not running an emp I'm 100% guaranteed to be running a sticky grenade. So if you haven't used these much, guys, do not sleep on them. They are very, very fun to use. Now, next up, we have the Dead Sec faction, which I personally think is probably the least used faction in the entire game, which is pretty insane considering how powerful they can be in the right hands. Now, they are definitely a little bit more niche than most of the other factions in X Defiant. I think we'd all agree that the Phantoms are by far the best. And then you have factions like Echelon, who with their Intel suit are very, very powerful, even Libertad, who are very obvious in what they do with constantly healing teammates and stuff like that, as well as having some very good abilities. So I do kind of understand why DeadSec is not used nearly as much as most of those other factions. But honestly, like I said, in the right hands, I genuinely think that this could be one of the most powerful factions in the entire game. And especially when it comes to ranked, I'm actually surprised more and more people don't use them because their ultimate ability is absolutely insane. And even the ability to hack stuff like the Mag Barrier, for example, it is just so damn useful if you are out there trying to play the objective and try and win games. So give Dead Sec a try if you guys haven't already. Like I said, they are a little bit more niche. You do have to kind of focus on the objective and focus on constantly hacking and all that kind of thing. But in my opinion, they are by far the most slept on faction. And I would actually say of everything that I've put on this list, Dead Sec is probably the most slept on thing that I've included in here. So give them a try. You guys will not regret it. Now, last but not least, we have the SVD, which again, I'm kind of shocked is so damn slept on because this thing is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to dealing damage. Now, I do see a few people every now and then using the MK20, which realistically is pretty similar to the SVD. Both of these are almost identical, but even then with the MK20, I feel like that is even slept on, but even more so for the SVD because for how good these things are, they are definitely some of the least used weapons in the entire game. Now, pretty similar to what I said with the M16, I understand that a single shot or semi-automatic rifle is a little bit less enticing than pretty much any weapon that's automatic and they are definitely a little bit more niche obviously in close quarters you're probably not going to do all that well with an svd compared to like an mp7 or something like that but at mid to long range i honestly think almost nothing beats an svd or an mk20 you're probably going to even beat snipers with them you're going to beat weapons like the m16 and pretty much any other assault rifle and so if you guys do enjoy playing that sort of slower pace you know mid to long range play style do not sleep on the svd this thing is absolutely absolutely insane and whenever I use it it is an absolute blast to use but that is it for what I think are some of the most underused and underrated items so far in the season one of X Defiant guys I'm keen to hear all of your thoughts let me know about the Vector and the M16 I'm not too sure if they are actually underused or if it's just that I don't see them personally all that often and if there's anything you think I missed on this list as well be sure to leave a comment down below but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and we'll see you all out there in the arena